I don't know. He's got titties. What else could a guy need? Guys, I'm kidding. You can call me Hannah. The hydroscillator is basically a giant electromagnet on the bottom of the ship. It creates a magnetic force field that repulses micrometeoroids. Without it, all the meteoroids out here would sandblast the JF into dust within a matter of hours. You know, that's really interesting, Hannah. Except, why is it called a hydroscillator when it doesn't have anything to do with water? Query results inconclusive. The name may have originated as a 20th century joke. Hello, Captain. Permission to take control of the ship for docking? What? There is a much lower statistical likelihood of error if I pilot the ship during docking procedures. USLC safety protocol- Ah, don't lecture me on protocol. Sir? I, I just don't see how you could do it any more safely than I could. I mean, you're a- A hologram. Sir, I'm an incredibly advanced adaptive intelligence program, capable of executing 3,500 unique operations per microsecond. And that makes me uniquely qualified- You're a woman. Excuse me? You'll scrape the poor bulkhead as sure as Schneider has David Hasselhoff's latest album on his zygalopod. Sir, if I were capable of experiencing emotion, I would... Wait, how did you know Schneider listens to the Hoff? It doesn't matter. You're not parking the ship. With all due respect, sir, I am a genderless computer simulation. Your outdated stereotypes wouldn't apply to me even if they weren't complete rubbish. Which they are. Sorry, doll. Can't do it. I'm parking manually. Dismissed. Sir, there was a malfunction in the port side docking module. The resulting additional stress caused a hydraulic failure, setting the ship adrift. I'm bringing her back in. Morris and I can have this fixed in no time. Good work, Hannah. No problem, sir. Hannah out. Looks like Hannah just saved your sink and spec banks. Come now, let's play pretend. Sink and spec. I mean, forget being demoted. I would have been doing time on the lunar penal colony. At least I could have seen mom. Just doing my job, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. We gotta work out some kind of knock protocol or something. Sir, I'm integrated into the ship's computer. In a way, I am the ship. I'm everywhere on the day of Sebastian all the time. The hologram is merely a visual representation to facilitate interaction with the crew. You weren't in my quarters this morning when I was... No, sir. I respect the privacy of your personal quarters. Okay, good, because I was reading a pretty sensitive fax from the head of the Oatmeal Raisin Alliance. Damn Lemon Bar Coalition. They're making a power grab in the cookie guild. They're not even cookies. I mean, what's next? Fig Newtons? Do the words lunar penal system mean anything to you? You keep your hands off my penal system, or we're gonna have problems, pal. It's a prison on the moon. B but I didn't do anything wrong. Sir, if I may. Morris is technically correct. The best kind of correct. His liaison with the doctor was completely legal under USSC regulation. Legal in some states. Morris, go to your room. Adults are speaking. Did, did, did. Captain, the commander ordered you to detain Morris, but his authority ends where the JF Sebastian begins. You have the final word on board the JF. Don't lecture me on protocol. I nearly graduated West Point. One credit shy. Captain, I suggest we set our course for Titan and complete the mission. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, took him long enough. Level five priority. You can't ignore it. I know. Patch it through. Hello, Banks. Hey, I was only kidding. So, yeah, how about you come uh, turn that boat around and come back here? Negative, sir. My orders are to explore Saturn's moon Titan. That's what I'm doing. Commander, you're breaking up. I've lost him. Oh, gosh. I tried to boost the signal, but it was no use. Some kind of background interference. You didn't have to do that. I know. I wanted to. He threatened Morris, and I'm programmed to stick up for my crew. 
Besides, Schneider was getting on my nerves. Since when does an AI have nerves? I'm programmed to approximate the colloquialisms of the shipboard crew, and- Hannah? Yes, Captain? Lay in a course for Titan. Course laid in. Oh, no, Captain, don't- Oh, I'm gonna. Ugh. Engage. <sighs> Are we there yet? We're approximately 8.5 hours from Titan. Oh, good. I can't wait to get out and stretch my legs. Ugh. The atmosphere on Titan is composed of methyl acetylene, acetylene, and propane, and it's negative 180 Celsius on the surface. It rains methane. Your face rains methane. And what the hell is 180 degrees Celsius? We're Americans, Hannah. We don't use the metric system. You don't use the metric system because you're an idiot, not because you're American. What? I said, it's your turn to talk to the captain. Oh, come on. Why do I have to talk to him? That's your job. I'm an engineer. Mechanic. God, I'm a mechanic. Sometimes I wonder if Morris is really an idiot or if it's all an act. Then I write his personnel file. I picked it up on Mars Station, in case I ran into any purple alien women. And it got a little too weird. You know what I mean? Morris, simple organic compounds have been discovered on several moons surrounding Jupiter and Saturn. But there's no evidence to support the presence of intelligent life. Cool. Thanks for that informative tidbit there, Captain Buzzkill. There's only one captain on this ship, and that's me. Captain Ryland Banks of the USSC JF Sebastian. And Lucy here is my first mate. Ain't that right, Lucy? Captain, we should begin long-range scans of the moon's surface as we approach. Once in orbit, we should launch probes and prepare the lander module. Uh, make it so. Now, if you don't mind, I don't like to keep my lady friend waiting. Oh, God. Well, that just doesn't get any less weird every time I see it. Well, now that's interesting. Morris, our scans are picking up radio signals from the surface. That's because the aliens that live down there just intercepted our transmission. And they're so disgusted with their first impression of humans, they decided to call us up and tell us to turn around and go back to Earth, because we're gross. These signals bear every indication that they come from an intelligent source. Wait, for real? Did we just discover aliens? Oh, Hannah Banks is gonna love this. Call him back. Oh, you think that's funny? I can't help it. I'm sorry. It's just fitting. Think about it. Morris requested a woman as the visual representation of the JF's AI. We were chased off Mars Station when he was caught banging the commander's daughter. The oldest human artifacts date back 40,000 years, and they're carvings of enormous fertile women with giant fat tits. It makes sense that some dude trying to get laid is the basis for the entire evolution of humanity. Giant fat tits. Bring up an image of one of these carvings. See what I mean? You want pics. It's for science, Hannah. Hey, you know what? Don't question my orders. I still haven't figured out a suitable punishment for you interrupting what could have been the most important dialogue in human history. Yes, sir. Here you go. The Venus of Willendorf. She's 30,000 years old. She doesn't look a day over... 49. I can pull up more if you'd like. No! No. Uh... It, I mean, it wasn't what I was expecting. It was most likely a fertility symbol, as evidenced by the huge... Giant. Fat. Tits. I was going to say tracts of land. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, Captain, we're receiving a communication. Yep, patch it through. Proximity alert. Odd, I should have detected it earlier. Captain, we're being hailed. I didn't code... Oh my. What is it? Commander Schneider. He's overridden my clearance. Captain, he's somehow taken control of the ship. I, I can't even get... Oh, snap. Hannah, 